Hey guys, this is Hylemon7 doing a very, very short video because I'm today I need to go to the barber at 6 a.m. and I'm not doing a face cap because my dirt, my hair is a bit dirty and and I need to later on take a shower. But you know, whatever. So this is one of those videos. I, this is one of the topics I haven't talked much about because. Mostly because I really want to stay away from this show as far as possible because because rise of the TMNT what like what what like there's no words for this show like when I first saw when I first time saw the show like the first five minutes I f saw the show in the first five minutes and I absolutely fucking hated the the premise already in the show because. Because you can tell from five minutes if you have like a intelligent brain left somewhere, or if you have have some intelligence left in your brain, then you can honestly tell what the show is about. And it's basically Rise of the TMNT or Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fuck that is mouthful. And you can tell this is basically Teen Titans Go with better animation and. Pretty catchy theme song, but that is it. Like, this is basically... But this is not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is basically Teen Titans Go on on steroids, basically, with just better animation. Like, Teen Titans Go... If, if you want to... Oh, everyone in the planet probably at this point knows how I feel about Teen Titans Go on, on a personal level. And it's not like... And, and a lot of people, especially Nostalgia Critic and even Eye of Soul, um, if you guys don't know, check out their channel if you want to. And a lot of people say they don't... It's like, I understand some people don't understand the hate between uh, Teen Titans Go, but it's like, they don't... Uh, it's like, uh, Nostalgia Critic uh, people and Nostalgia Critic f don't fully understand why people hate... Uh, why, um, why officially people like me hate Teen Titans Go, but Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is basically the same thing having idiotic characters, uh, just idiotic humor, and, and, what, like, this is like a waste of potential, like, you guys have this amazing animation, like, this is some, this is some kill a kill uh, levels of animation, especially when it comes to action, and uh, action elements, but when it comes to comedy, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like Nickelodeon once fought. Yeah, remember where when do you know that the Cartoon Network is really making shit ton of money because of Teen Titans Go? Why don't we do the same? So they just basically rehashed, just they just basically rebooted and rebooted the Teenage in, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again, and they just basically Teen Titan Teen Titans Go fight like. I I don't know if that if that is even a word because I am really speechless with how this short show is turning out and and one of my biggest my my biggest pet peeves of this show is the fact that people still fucking defend it especially the modern cartoon community defend the show people say oh, but, but you have to watch the whole episode to give it a chance like no I will not give it a chance because I already because. This is the same issue I have with people, the way people d d just criticize, just bombarded with hate um, that Thundercats Roar uh, trailer that came out and and a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people could tell this is some another Teen Titans Go bullshit and it's like... And people, and especially the Mario Kart community, people still want to defend this, like, but the show hasn't come, uh, typing in the comments, like, but the show hasn't come out, why do you hate this show so much if it hasn't come out, give it a chance, like, are you fucking serious right now, like, I can tell from the fucking intro that the show is gonna be another Teen Titans Go fucking bullshit, and people want me to give it a chance, like, Teen Titans Go is is bad enough as it is, but fuck's sake, like, Teen Titans Go is like, it's like the epitome of the devil, like, the devil decided to uh, just smoke crack for one one day and decided, hey, you know what, what is the best way to ruin people's lives, ruin their childhood, 
childhoods reboot shows, but in the worst way possible. Like, f fuck you, Satan. Like, Jesus Christ. And I'm and I do apologize if I bring up religion, but that just. Oh my god, I just wanted to make this light harder as possible as well, because I don't, because it is really pissing me off that it kind of makes me p really pissed off that people defend shows like Rise of the TMNT, Thundercats Roar, Teen Titans Go, like, it's like, but it, I, and the excuse is like, fuck's sake, I really, you know how I feel about the, it's just for kids excuse, it's not for you, like, that excuse is so mind-bogglingly, Awful that I just want to. If someone, some person came up to me and said the exact same thing is just a kids show, I will, I will punch that person in the face. Okay, maybe, maybe not because I don't want to get arrested or evicted or maybe uh, being uh, like, why do I still have this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw uh, a menu, I uh, saw an instruction manual lying on my table for the DVD player I returned uh, at back at Amazon because the DVD player was scratching up my DVD disc, so I didn't want to take any chances, so I had to return it and get my refund, so yeah. Uh, but still off topic, <laughs> I apologize, but the Rise of the TMT is a just goddamn awful show, like, Jesus Christ, this is like another Teen Titans Go bullshit with just better animation, and that's it, like, why the, and, and I, qu and I question this, why do people, especially in the Amer, in America, or in the West, uh, I don't know, Especially in those places, why do people in those places just basically dump on uh, animation? Like animation is animation is real great. Like look at uh, anime, for example. Anime has different, many different animation styles. They still try to do create uh, um, good content and and. And Western animation did the same, especially when the 80s rolled, and now it's like, yeah, we should just give up and not try anymore, let's make more simplified colored styled uh, shows and whatever, and a lot of, I know a lot of people just gonna uh, write and type in the comments and be, gonna get pissed off when I always mention colored style, but when I look at animation, especially for animated shows in 2019, I only see colored style and I don't see anything else, only a few shows that have um, that stick with really good animation that is and that one of them is uh, Justice League Outsiders and DC creating animated movies but for some reason they don't want to make good quality animated shows because you know animation it's just for kids <laughs> like fuck's sake and and I saw a trailer for Justice League versus the Fatal Five, I believe it was called, and and um, the fact that when I saw the trailer for it, I was really happy because they brought bring back DC animated universe, and they just want to bring out bring back you know the traditional animation from from the mid two thousands that was really great. A lot of people appreciated, and there was there was even a Batman Beyond mo animated movie in the works at this point. Like, guys, I know you, I know the DC, I know you're just. And one of the questions is, why don't they release those movies in theaters? Like, a lot of people would pay a lot of money to see actually good content, uh, 2D animation returning on on the big screen. A lot of people would like it. Why DC, you don't do that? Why are you just focusing animation on... Why are you focusing big screen releases for the, uh, your live action stuff? Like, why? But I... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a Hollywood director or anything like that. But still, uh, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, especially with the rise of the TMT, I feel like people need to stop defending this crap and just try to try to defend something that is really good. Like a lot of people, just like some people might say, I, I'm a big baby or something like that. I don't appreciate animation or something like that. It's not like animation is fine as long as it's not just uh, about good animation, but also it's about good writing. Uh, it's about writing characters as characters. And we barely get get that in, in modern day animation this, at this point. Like we barely get that. A lot of people are just going to type in comments, Steven Universe, Adventure Time, blah, 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 blah. 
mob that was shows right? I have ended and, and and still we have the same problem. We barely have good animated shows that have unique art styles or you know, for children having action cartoons and stuff like that, and it's really pissing me off. Like some people say, Rise of the Timothy is an action cartoon, but it's I feel like it's more comedy based than action because you know, like I said, it's basically Teen Titans Go with a better animation. So yeah, this is my those are my thoughts for Rise of the TMNT and. And let me guys know in the comments how you feel about the Rise of the TMT. And like this video if you actually agree with some of my statements I have of Rise of the TMT. Like I said, there are still there are some good things about the show. Like, like I said, good it has really good animation, especially with its action parts. Um, it has a really catchy theme song, and that is pretty much it. I, that is all I can say about about the show. But other than that, it's it, I. I don't want to give it a chance. It's basically another reboot that craps on uh, other reboots that have been doing fine, like Thundercats 2011, uh, Teen Titans 2003, um, Teen, Teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboots from 2003, my favorite, and to, also 2012. It's okay, but it has issues. But yeah, but uh, and even Transformers Prime and. I can go on, but I still feel like it's kind of really disappointing that uh, good animated shows being crapped on by Western audiences because it's like, we, but it's just for kids. Kids need to like silly shit. Like, I'm not denying the fact that kids need some comedy based cartoons as well, but too much of them, it's. It's gonna run in kids' brains. Like we need, we need variety for shows that have both action-based uh, uh, shows that have also really good storytelling and character development, and also comedy-based shows that don't have a lot of plot, but at the same time have good writing, uh, good jokes, and characters that actually feel like characters as well. But um, yeah. But still, what do, what do you guys think about Rise of the Team and the write it in the comments and. I will see you guys later, and this is Salmon17 signing off.